Welcome back to this video. I'm going to cover the basics of how to use regular repairs from logistical automation. So when you get to the Iron Age to craft them, uh, it is pretty cheap though, just some iron, redstone, and leather. Um, and you got your extractor, which you can craft with more iron. Um, I might change that recipe later to make it uh, accessible in the Stone Age or Bronze Age, but I'm not sure. Okay, so you just you take get your miner. I'm using a diamond one and would upgrade it. Um, so that gives it three, uh, five range extra three range and I think you have like 15 range max. Okay, so I'm going to take these, I'm going to run my conveyors and we put them in the shelving unit right here. So this is for banana craft, I'm going to make another video on it later. Um, but you know it just stores like a huge amount of items on multiple shelves. So I have my build craft quarry when I was testing things and middle levels empty, top levels where uh, I tested this to be sure it worked before I made a video on it. Okay, so you can use vertical conveyors or sloped conveyors. Vertical ones I've noticed are kind of buggy because they like transport items in a way that shouldn't be possible. Um, oh, actually, I guess I fixed it. Yeah, I'm going to use sloped ones just because uh, I think they look better. Um, we can use either one or both. Yeah, so we just take this, we're going to go up and into, I get the right blocks, into the obsidian pipe. Okay, so we get our extractor. Remember from my last video on the stone conveyors over there, you have to face away from where your output is. So just face on the input side. But yeah, and then the mines the items and they go into the shelf. And yeah, that's kind of it. It's just, you know, very simple basic system, but you can make it more complicated later. Um, like if you have to run conveyors from your base to like a mountain or something. So I'll go and set it up and cover it real quick. Okay, so I went a bit further away from my base or a little dev site about 50 meters and I set up two miners to demonstrate something you could do. So if you have multiple miners in the same general area, you could either feed them all into one central line, take that to your base, or do what I did and split it across multiple lines. Now, of course, you could add like automation to split ores and smelt them and whatnot. But this is just a basic, hey, get things from point A to point B example. So I got my miner, it's full, place my extractor there. This one's also full, place my extractor there. And voila. So <laughs> if I do this one correctly, uh, it real. Okay, so now it's going to extract all these items and just take them across. Okay, yeah, see, if you drop things at the right angle, it just kind of breaks. I don't know why. I'm going to blame uh, Java code. Uh, okay, so they'll take things and they'll go down these two conveyor lines. You know, like I said, you could combine them into one line, which is probably more efficient, but um, this looks cooler and was more fun to build. <laughs> so they'll just take these and they'll all trickle down and go into the subsidian transport pipe and then just be put into my giant storage system. So it's just going to store everything and just keep doing that until the miners run out of fuel, which isn't going to happen because I gave them coal coke. They're probably going to run out of blocks first because there's only like a few hundred in each area. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Just a nice, simple thing. And another thing too, I think miners will use enchantments on tools. Um, I will have to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure it'll be applied like all levels. So when you get an enchanting table, you can just uh, put an enchantment like fortune knife pickaxe or silk touch or whatever and do whatever from there. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Um, this is pretty good. Uh, I think it's a nice setup. I'm going to make another one over the magnetic craft storage system, the storage shelving unit, uh, and the shipping container back there. Uh, yeah, so I have a couple of those planned, but just you know, wait, I'll upload them.